Hey guys, um, we're uh, going back to my roots today. I'm using the glass still because yesterday I cut uh, some lavender, but it was different than all the other lavender that we've been cutting. Most of the stuff that we've been cutting is Grosso, um, which is just the strain, Lavender Augustfolia Grosso, or Lavendula. Anyways, this stuff is short. I do not know the species, and so I did not want to put it in the, in the big still and, and mix the species. So we're going to run it in the small scale still and see if the oil is any different because just by the smell, like when I crush it in my hand and smell it, it's very perfumey, um, way more floral. It, it's, um, I don't know what species it is, but it's definitely different. Um, the, the plant gets no taller than like um, maybe a foot, foot and a half tall. Um, it's not a real bushy plant, so, um, yeah, if anybody knows, hey, I'll show you, actually, if anybody wants to do some research, these are the, this is the lavender here, right, these are the heads, and then, um, I'll show you the other ones, I guess, this is, the other ones are the ones that, um, we normally do, and we can tell the difference. See, see how long, long the stalks, or the, the stalks are here and the flower heads, like short and tall, whereas the other ones are um, like uh, short and fat, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, here's here's a head right here. See, kind of fat, but man, they smell good. A lot better than the other stuff. So hopefully this will, um, hopefully this one will produce a really nice scent for us. Um, I'm actually just about ready to get my first drops across. Um, maybe you guys want to see it? I don't know. But, um, yeah. A lot slower, though. If I could get away from the glassware. If anybody wants to buy this, I will sell it so I can build um, a small scale um, small scale stainless steel one. So, yeah, if you want to make your own essential oils, hit me up. 